Over there in no time. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. I was hoping you could do something about these air shows. Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Fort Tudor. The old factory off of Argus Street. Russians have got to Charlie Matei. They told this top enchilada couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how the fuck they knew? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he chops it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the enchilada's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. All right. Now, the way I sees it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later. Tiny Balkan This is the part where we kill you, asshole! Die, you f***ers! Where you gonna go, huh? You're a goose.
Send one of his low rate goons to try and clip me? Good luck, asshole!
You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. Got a vehicle on fire in Eastern Tudor. We sell quality weapons and we know how to use them.
you as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you, done with everyone! I'll go, but I ain't going quietly! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own! I beat him like he was my own son! When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son! Now this! The world is a cunt! Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire! So I freak out! I call him up! He's such a moron he leaves his cell phone on! So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump! <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me? So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay. Okay, don't worry. <sighs> nurses properly and pay us more? You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, God complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. Anyone flatlines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. Watch out for those cops. They're down the hall acting like they own the place. He's not looking too good, Doc. I need a little doctor-patient confidentiality. You can have one minute. Boss? Peg, is that you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, shit, Nico. You're here to see the boss? It's just this way. Uh, wait, isn't the boss in jail? Uh, what are you here for? Ah, uh, shit. I didn't have a choice. They were gonna put me away for some hard time. Uh, I never thought it'd be me that turned rat.
It's a rough world. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there either. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking bitch. Turning everybody into rats. Stay around, Nico. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But feel, and... I don't mean to take advantage, but... Maybe I need help on times. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean... I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue.